Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the long-awaited closet tour, showing you a little bit of how I organize everything inside my closet. Um, it is raining outside, so I'm hoping uh, the window here is bright enough to give me some lighting in this closet because the overhead light um, I do struggle with on camera. It does give quite a glare, so yeah, I'm gonna take you around, show you how I organized everything, and um, I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for watching. So stepping into my closet, I um, have given a quick overview of kind of the general setup of what I have in here, but I'm kind of gonna go piece by piece today and kind of just walk you through um, everything and how I store everything. Um, pretty much organization-wise, I decided to I, I'll start from the beginning. We ended up going to the container store and we decided on the Alpha decor system, mostly because it was the one that my husband and I could agree on. <laughs> he doesn't like anything that's too sort of furniture looking and I didn't really want anything um, that was too kind of, I guess, industrial. And this was kind of our happy medium. I think it is a little bit industrial, which we both do like, but I just wanted it to be, you know, nice enough um, that it would, you know, display everything nicely. I'd have enough shelving and some drawers. And so we worked with a designer to come up with the best um, kind of system for us. So up on the top here, I just have my um, sleeveless shirts, mostly sleeveless shirts. Um, I tend to hang things by uh, sleeve length or style versus color. And I do wear a lot of black and white, as you can see. I do have a little bit more color there at the end and a few cap sleeves at the end. But for the most part, these are the shirts I wear almost every day. Um, and then I throw something usually over as a layering piece. Uh, below that, I've got a few of my handbags. I've got my stout bucket bags. These are my Tory Burch Lee Radswell bags and um, my little Louis Vuitton, uh, gosh, niece BB. It's been a long time since I've said that. Uh, then down here uh, on hanging, I have bottoms mostly on the left. So I've got just some shorts, um, some linen pants uh, and some t-shirts and longer sleeve t-shirts. So for the most part, everything here are I would call it my casual clothes. I do have some denim that are in a wardrobe in my bedroom um, and just some like loungewear and things like that. But for the most part, everything else is what you see here. Moving into the middle area, I've got um, some of my handbags on shelves. I'm trying to get up as high as I can so you can see what's up there. I've got two bags from the curated in the back. I have my um, Chanel Classic Flap, my favorite handbag in my collection. I've got a couple of my Tory Burch um, crossbody bags. And then I also have um, my vintage Chanel bags here. And then on this shelf, I just have put um, some of the fragrances that I've been wearing the most lately. I've had this little frog since high school. Um, a friend of mine gave it to me and it's sort of been like a good luck thing with me. He came to my wedding. My husband had him in his tux and we've just, uh, yeah, he goes everywhere with me when, whenever anything is important. I don't have anything in this little jewelry box right now, but um, I do have a couple of just little jewelry boxes with some um, faux pearls in there and things like that. I thought they looked nice with the little um, perfume tray. And by the way, I got this perfume tray and this little matching jewelry box on Amazon. And this one I picked up, um, of all the places, I think I picked it up at a Cracker Barrel in their little gift shop. <laughs> I just thought it was really cute. So moving down into my drawers, I am going to be getting some more drawer organizers soon, but for now, um, the top drawer here, I do have a little organizer for my jewelry. This is kind of my watches, which you see all the time in my videos. Um, things I wear the most are pretty much my watches, occasionally a necklace um, when I'm going out somewhere. I do love hoop earrings, but don't wear them very often. Then I've just got some sentimental pieces in here. I've got a brooch and some clip-on earrings that belong to my grandmother. Um, over in the front here, if I can see what I'm doing. I got this ring that belonged to my aunt who is coming to visit me this weekend or next weekend. I'm very excited. Um, and then I've got a few rings here. The pearl one belonged to my grandmother um, and the turquoise um, silver ring belonged to my mother. My mother was a huge wearer of sterling silver jewelry and so I have all of her 
um, jewelry in here. And yeah, so that's that. The next drawer, I have all my sunglasses. And this is a drawer I'm really excited to get some organization for. I would love to just have my sunglasses on display and then put the cases um, somewhere else, which I will show you. In here, I have just some SLGs and some belts. Again, would love to get um, some storage. So uh, yeah, more to come on that. And then this is just all bathing suits in this drawer and cover-ups. And then I have all of my scarves um, in this bottom drawer that don't really see a whole lot of use since moving to Florida. Uh, moving on to this side rack here. These are mostly, I would say, my clothes I would wear if I were working in an office. <laughs> um, and I've got just a few kind of sweater blazers on the left, followed by um, my lighter, believe it or not, these are my most lightweight blazers. Um, on the right, they're mostly my kind of linen or um, kind of cotton blazers. Then I've got a few just fun tweed blazers that I love to wear in the wintertime. And um, below that on the shelf, I just have a few things here that are going to be in an upcoming uh, favorites video, so I'm not going to get into what's there, but I've got a few more handbags. Um, I have gotten questions about this. People have seen this in some of my Instagram photos. That is a Teddy Blake um, Eva bag. I have another one behind it. Um, so yeah, not a <laughs> not near Mez Kelly, although that is the size I would want and the color I would want uh, one day maybe. And um, yeah, I've got my Chanel Kelly bags here, my smaller one and the larger one behind there. And then moving down here, um, I've got just a few kind of pencil skirts over on the side here that um, have not been getting a lot of wear recently, but I've kept just a few of them. I got rid of so, so many, as you can see by the empty hangers. Um, and then I've got uh, just some of my blouses and more um, kind of collared shirts. I would call it my work shirts, but a lot of these I do wear uh, kind of thrown over a t-shirt or a tank top, especially right now. I'm really loving um, anything linen, so I've got quite a few linen shirts that um, I'm kind of obsessed with, and yeah, so that is what is on the bottom shelf. And I just love kind of walking into my closet and seeing, you know, some of the things that inspire me every day as I'm getting dressed. So here I just have a leaning mirror that we got, I believe at Ikea, um, waiting to get a thinner um, mirror that I can hang on the wall space right there. And I just got this light that we cannot seem to find a bulb that works right in here so that it's not too, too bright and it's not too yellow. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. Moving into, this is like a storage ottoman that I have sort of, or storage bench that I've had um, from my previous home and we took with us. Oops, I forgot to turn it around. So yeah, so I've got some old Chanel boxes in here and I've got mostly kind of um, miscellaneous jewelry um, perfumes that I'm going to be selling. I've got my Cartier uh, box that came with the watch and some other boxes like that. Over here, I've got uh, on that top shelf in the storage bin are um, all of my dust bags and shoe bags and things that I've gotten over the years. Then I have a lot of straw hats. Um, it's funny, I have so many straw hats and I only wear like two of them. So uh, that may be a problem. I'm always picking them up and then, you know, I tend to stick to the ones I really like the most. Um, in the back here, I have all of my dresses and um, on the right, I just have some of my longer cardigans. Um, up here on the top shelf, I just have some of my boxes that just inspire me. I have um, sweaters hanging all along this rack, and they get they go from sort of a shorter length sweaters to mid length to, I would say, um, kind of just almost to my thigh or to my thigh. <laughs> I tend to wear a lot of those as kind of cover ups during the day because I get cold all the time. And then of course I have my uh, perfume collection. There's really no rhyme or reason for how I have these organized other than um, they are organized by brand. So I have like with like, but um, yeah, a lot of what is in here tends to be kind of my niche perfumes. And then over here, I've got more, I guess, designer perfumes. And then this one is just sort of a random, uh, kind of covered up with some of my clothes. Random mishmash of perfumes. So 
yeah that is what I currently have and I found these little um, trays by the way also on Amazon they are kind of like faux leather trays that are really nice for perfumes because they don't make a lot of noise as you're taking things out and putting them in and they really were great when I moved um, to kind of keep all my perfumes together I kind of crammed everything in so nothing could move and I literally hand carried it out to my car <laughs> drove over to the new place and then hand carried them all up into their little home so I didn't have to wrap anything up and it worked out kind of perfectly then below here I have my shoes so yeah, I'll try to give you a quick shoe tour. I've got um, some of my Tory Burch or all of my Tory Burch um, Miller sandals. I'm quite a collector. Next door down, I have um, quite a few of my sort of strappy, um, chunky heeled sandals. I have a huge love affair with these. And I, for a while, I have been um, kind of collecting these ones by, by far that I still think are absolutely gorgeous. But then I found sort of a similar dupe at, um, Banana Republic and ended up buying out like every color that they had. And down here I have um, my two Chanel um, two-toned shoes, my flats and my heels. And then I've just got this one pair of Dear Francis shoes that I am just obsessed with or was obsessed with when I was working in an office. Um, a few more dressier kind of going out sandals um, and shoes from Banana Republic. I do really well with Banana Republic shoes for work. Um, as you can see, there's a whole collection in here. Then up here, um, I've got my little uh, Hermes sandals and I got, I've got these a couple years ago now at the Banana Republic outlet and I love them. They're just these little crossover sandals. I have all three um, colors because they're just super comfortable. Then down here, I have some of my mules, my Gucci mules in the front and in the back. Then down in here, I just have some um, more mules. I think these are all from Banana Republic uh, and these are from Jenny Kane. I love these. I get so many compliments every time I wear these. And then um, in here, I've just got some miscellaneous sandals. I've got some kind of chunky sandals from Steve Madden. I love these right now. I've been wearing these quite a bit. I love that they have a wedge, but it's like a really kind of flat wedge. It's not anything too um, hard to walk in or not really a wedge. I guess you'd call it a platform, right? Yeah, a platform. And then I just have my other pair of Jenny Kane um, slip-ons. And now starts my crazy collection of um, Birkenstocks. I, since moving to Florida, have gotten back into Birkenstocks and I think came down here with two pairs and now I've got a lot. So I've got these um, suede ones. These are all Arizona style, which are have been my favorite for years. I've got the Arizona suede, uh, these little furry insides. Um, I have the brand new and only been used one time so far, white Arizonas that I absolutely love. And um, I've got my black ones that uh, I think these were one of the original pairs that came down here with me. Then in the next drawer, I have, um, I think these are called the Boston Clogs. I have loved these also for years and years and I'm so happy to see them kind of making a comeback because <laughs> I love them so much. I have those in like that taupey color and in black, both suede. I have um, my little pool um, Birkenstocks in black and I just recently also picked those up in white because I'm really into white shoes right now. And then down here I have another pair of one of my other favorite pairs of shoes from Dear Francis. These are these um, really chunky flip-flops that are super cute. Um, I've got these Vince slides that I've had for so many years and these remain one of my most comfortable shoes ever. I've just got a pair of Tory Burch flip-flops in there. And um, these, where did I get these? Oh, these are from Madewell. These are just those Gladiator sandals that um, I was wearing a lot a few years ago and really need to drag those out more. And then finally down here, I've just got some sneakers. I've got my Vejas and um, all of my Converse, my high top black ones my black low tops and my white low tops. And then down at the bottom here, I have my um, little ankle boots. These are my favorites from Dear Francis. I have them just in the black lambskin as well as um, 
this faux or mock croc, I guess you would say. Uh, they are by far my most well-made and comfortable and super cute shoes that I know I will have for years to come. So that was it for my closet tour. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I am planning to film a tour of some of my beauty storage and organization, hopefully for next week. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, um, thank you again for watching and I will see you soon in my next video.